वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश टेन सो स्टेटमेंट इज यूजिंग ई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड गेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ द स्टील रॉड ए बी सी वेन पी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो न्यूटन एंड इन बी पार्ट का रिस्पॉन्डिंग स्ट्रेन एनर्जी डेंसिटी इन पोर्शन ए बी एंड बी सी ऑफ द रॉड सो यू कैन सी दिस टोटल इज ए बी सी रॉड क्लियर द टोटल लेंथ इज टू मीटर द रॉड ए बी हैविंग डायमीटर ऑफ ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर एंड रॉड बी सी हैविंग डायमीटर ऑफ सिक्सटीन मिलीमीटर द लेंथ ऑफ ए बी इज वन पॉइंट टू मीटर वाई द लेंथ ऑफ बी सी इज जीरो पॉइंट एट मीटर एंड पी लोड इज अप्लाइड एट द एंड ऑफ रॉड बी सी वाई दिस पी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो न्यूटन सो वट वी हैव टू फाइंड इज द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ द रॉड एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग स्ट्रेन एनर्जी डेंसिटी इन पोर्शन ए बी एंड बी सी सो आई हैव रिटर्न द गिवन डेटा यू कैन चेक इट ऑल द डेटाज आर मैंशन ओवर हेयर एंड वट वी हैव टू फाइंड इज दिस टोटल कैपिटल यू एंड स्मॉल यू ए बी एंड बी सी विच इज स्ट्रेन एनर्जी डेंसिटी सो लेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन आवर प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम इलेवन पॉइंट नाइन वी यूज अ मैथड यू कैन अप्लाई द सेम ओवर हेयर बट आई विल सॉल्व इट बाई यूजिंग इन अदर मैथड सो लेट स्टार्ट एज वी नो दैट टोटल स्ट्रेन एनर्जी is equal also equal to sum of p square into l divided by 2 times e into a i have already explained it in my theory lectures you can go and watch them okay so we will apply this formula over here so for u we as we have two rods so this formula will split into uh, that is p a b square into length of a b divided by 2 times e is same for both multiply by area of a b plus p b c square length of b c divided by 2 times e area of b c now we know that load is given p is equal to uh let me check 25 kilo newton and it will be the same for both rods so that is equal to p a b is equal to p b c so we will put the values over in here so you, to get the uh, strain energy total strain energy in rod a b c so p a b is 2.25 kilo newton so 25 into 10 to the power 3 whole square clear length is one length of ab is 1.2 so you can check it this is ab length is 1.2 divided by 2 times e is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 and what will be the area so area is uh, we will calculate it area of ab is equal to pi by 4 d of ab so dab is 20 mm so 20 square it will give you 314.16 square mm and in term of meter area of ab is equal to 314.16 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter similarly area of we will also calculate area of bc which is equal to pi by 4 and diameter of bc was 16 so 16 square and it will give you 201.06 square millimeter and in term of meter this will be equal to 201.06 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter now you can put the value so area of ab is 314.16 into 10 to the power minus 6 okay plus pbc so pbc is again 25 kilo newton so 25 into 10 to the power 3 whole square length of bc 0.8 divided by 2 times e which is 2 into 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by area of bc which is 
201.06 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. So when you calculate all values, you will get the strain energy in rod ABC comes out to be uh, 5.968 plus 6.213. And that is equal to 12.18 Newton into meter. Or you can also say that U is equal to 12.18. 18 newton meter is equal to joules so this is the answer of our first part in second part we have been asked to find the strain energy density in rod a b and strain energy density of rod b c so we know that strain energy density is equal to sigma square over 2 e so for u a b is equal to sigma a b square or 2 e and for rod b c strain energy density is equal to sigma b c square over 2 e so we will find the sigma a b and b c so sigma a b is known as p divided by area of a b so you can put the value this is 25 into 10 to the power 3 and area of AB which we have calculated was 314.16 into 10 to the power minus 6. So from here you will get stress in AB comes out to be 79.58 into 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Also the stress in rod bc is equal to load over area of bc so you can put 25 into 10 to the power 3 divided by area of bc was uh, area of bc was 201 let me check it 201 201 Point one six into ten to the power minus six. So again, it will give you stress in BC comes out to be twelve point one twenty four point two eight into ten to the power six Pascal. Okay. Now you have both the value you can put it in this formula and this formula so we will put it uh, strain energy density in rod a b is equal to sigma a b square over 2 e so put the values 79.58 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 2 into 200 gigapascal which is 10 to the power 9 so when you calculate it, you will get the strain energy density in rod AB comes out to be 15.83 Joule per cubic meter. That is in kilojoule. You will also get 10 to the power 3. So you convert it into kilojoule. Similarly, you can also find strain energy density in rod BC, which is equal to sigma BC square over 2E. So just put the values 124.28 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 2 into 200 10 to the power 9. So strain energy density in rod BC comes out to be 38.6 into 10 to the power 3 that will be in joule per cubic meter and in kilojoule it will be 38.6 kilojoule per cubic meter so these are the answers of our second part b i hope you have enjoyed this video and again, if you like my videos, then subscribe my channel and also share it with 
your friends and in among your community and keep watching thank you